to do with sin. We've already established that. Now look at Matthew chapter 3. We're going to look at some of these verses that the false prophets will use in order to say, see, look, the Bible says you've got to repent of your sins in order to be saved. You've got to turn from all your sins in order to be saved. You say, well, where does the Bible say you have to do that? And they'll say, well, look at Matthew chapter number 3. John the Baptist taught this. Jesus taught this. They all taught you have to repent of your sins and be saved. They're a hard preacher, so you have to repent of your sins. And they'll get people worked up. and they'll, Repent of your sins. And repeat it over and over again. And then they'll turn to Matthew 3 and say, look at verse number 1. The Bible says, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See, John the Baptist taught you got to repent. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. you got to turn from all your sins. And they'll add that in there over and over again. So you got to repent. you got to turn from your sins. And they'll define it for you that way because they're deceiving you. It, does that say anywhere there you have to turn from all your sins and be saved? Nope. When you look at what the scripture actually literally says, what did he say? Repent ye, which means all of you. You do need to repent. Why? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What you don't see is what the repentance is in this context. So all by itself, we're not given all of the information to understand the full context until you start reading and seeing what was John the Baptist's ministry about? What was Jesus saying? What were they actually teaching? You take one sentence that says, repent ye, you know, it's easy to just throw in any context you want and just say, oh, he's talking about your sins. But it doesn't say that. Turn over to Matthew chapter 4. Same page, next page over, Matthew chapter 4. We're going to look at verse number 17. Because they'll turn to this verse too. It's A.C. John the Baptist taught repentance and Jesus teaches repentance. Look at verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's basically the same thing that John the Baptist said. They're saying the same thing. And they are saying to repent. Now people who want to attack churches like ours... And what we believe, we we'll say, oh, that's your, they don't believe in repentance. I'll tell you right now, I do believe in repentance. I absolutely believe in repentance, but I believe in not being deceitful about what repentance even means and looking at the context about who we're talking about and what, it, and what it's referring to. One, I believe in repenting of sins. I do. I believe everybody should repent of their sins. I believe everybody should live a righteous life. I believe everyone should follow all the commandments of the Lord perfectly without fail. I believe everyone should do that. But you know what I don't believe? I don't believe that any of that is required in order to be saved and go to heaven. Everybody should be perfect. That's why God gave commandments. He didn't give suggestions. He gave commandments because he expects us to do them. And he wants us to do them. And I want to do them. And hopefully you want to do them too. I do believe when I do something wrong that I should, I should not want to do that anymore and I should turn from that and try to do what's right. I believe in that. But I don't believe that that's what's required in order to be saved, in order to receive eternal life, in order to receive everlasting life. And as we get into this, we'll see exactly why. You know, what, what I believe is that, is exactly what the Bible says, that in order to be saved, you have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. We use a very clear verses that literally will just tell you exactly what's required, as opposed to verses that just say, repent ye. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even say, repent ye in order to go to heaven, or repent ye in order to have eternal life. It doesn't even say that. But even if it said that, I wouldn't say that that's false. But it doesn't even say that. It just says, repent ye because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. kingdom of God's at hand. That's it. But they automatically are just going to tell you that means salvation. They're automatically going to tell you that that means giving up a sinful life. When it doesn't mention that at all in context. Turn if you go to Matthew chapter 9. This is not, now it's going to get way more strong in, in, uh, from their perspective. Matthew chapter 9, we're going to start reading verse number 10.
And I have no problems turning to any scripture ever about what anyone teaches. Because I believe the whole Bible is true and I don't believe there's any contradictions. So I'm not afraid to go to certain verses, you know, like if someone wants to try to teach you salvation by works and they want to turn to James chapter 2 and be like, oh no, I can't turn to James chapter 2 because that actually teaches work. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm not afraid to teach, turn to any passage. And I actually prefer to show the passages that people will try to use to teach you false doctrine so that you could just hear it and, and see for yourself and just see, oh yeah. Now if someone tries to come at me with this... I actually have heard this before. I understand the context. I could see this and be like, no, you're not going to deceive me with, with this teaching on repentance because that's not actually what the Bible's teaching right there. Matthew chapter 9, look at verse number 10. The Bible says, And it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. So Jesus having a meal with his disciples. Other people show up. My publicans, sinners, common people. Verse number 11, And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. See, he taught Repentance. Yeah, he did. He did teach repentance. And he is teaching repentance here. But again, does that say that he's telling these sinners that they have to turn from all of their sins in order to go to heaven? Because I don't see that in the scripture. 